Hey guys, it's Tom with the SS Motion here today with a quick news flash video. So today we have images of two brand new Call of Duty sets. We have images of the Target Exclusive Arctic Invasion set and the general release Nuketown set. Yes, that's right guys, Nuketown, the set we've been waiting for since the line was announced. So let's jump straight into the images. So the first set we have is the Target Exclusive Arctic Invasion set. And wow, does this set look good. So starting right off the bat, this set is based on Call of Duty Ghosts. We can tell as the Arctic soldiers have the Federation emblem on their shoulders, and the car itself has the Federation emblem on the door. Now this is based off the mission where you infiltrate a Federation facility. I can't remember exactly what the mission's called, but it was a very fun one. And it's nice to see it getting some representation in Megablox form. So the Jeep looks very nicely assembled. There's some nice lights, a license plate, a gun turret, seating, opening doors, and lots of nice details. And it just looks really nice. I've already commented on the official post saying this is something I would love to see remade in the future in Desert Colours. But that's not all we get. As well as that, we also get a small structure with some of the very nice fence pieces a nice looking CCTV camera and an extremely nice looking speaker system so that's awesome I am very very excited to get my hands on this I'm not a massive fan of arctic style sets but the design in this set is perfect and I'm sure you will agree when I say I cannot wait to get my hands on it and a set I am very excited for now is the Nuke Town set so this is a general release set and my god does it look good so as you can see there's various different components included, we've got a street sign, the Nuketown sign saying welcome to Nuketown population 2, which is a nice little fact that there's two figures included suggesting that there's two people on the map. We have the bomb clock tower, a piece of barbed wire, some fencing, a letterbox and then half a structure itself which looks very nice. I like the broken glass effect the designers have used that you guys can see in the windows. It also has the balcony which is very nice. Some stairs around the side with some really nicely built up wooden stairways and as well as that the barricades themselves. Um, I guess you would call them... I can't think of the word. You guys will know what I mean, the wooden things you have on the barrier to stop you from falling off. It's basically a fence, we'll call it that. And then as well as that, you can see there's even a pipe detail in there, which is really cool. Um, and it just generally looks very nice. We get two figures in this set, we see some blue trousers, which are nice to see. Um, with black shoes painted on. We get a sniper rifle and a brown jacket, which again is very nice. And we get a figure who looks to be in green camouflage, which looks awesome. And we see the unhelmeted head again, which is very nice. As well as that, you'll notice we get two brand new pieces, which are the dummies from the Nuketown map. So this is definitely an awesome set. And as per usual from Mega, they've saved the best till last. This is definitely something that I'm hoping to pick up to review for you guys. And to be honest, this is probably my most anticipated Call of Duty set of the year now. So yeah, that is the Nuketown set. Okay guys, that is it for these two epic sets. I am very, very excited for these. They look to be very good. And it looks as if they won't break the bank in terms of prices either. As far as I'm aware, looking at some sources from the internet, in particular Blocks Forum and Spartan Blocks, we are going to be seeing Nuketown for $40. Now that is not confirmed guys, I want you to note this down, that is not confirmed, but that is rumours, um, and some listings have been seen, so it's possible, but take it with a pinch of salt. Uh, in terms of other things, uh, trying to have a look for you guys now, I can't find a price for the Arctic Invasion set at the moment, but from what I remember it was something like $60-$70. Don't quote me on Max, again, that might not be accurate, but that's what I've read, and I thought I'd tell you so you have a rough approximation. So comment below, guys. What do you think of these new sets? I, for one, am thrilled. I cannot wait to get my hands on them, and I definitely want to bring you guys reviews on these sets. Do you want reviews on them? If you do, comment below as well. 
Um, so that's it for this video, guys. Short news video for you, but I am very, very excited. And I just look forward to bringing you more content as soon as possible. That's it for now, guys. It is a good time to be a Mega Bloks fan.